and this is the first um, retreat between Singapore and the new Pakatan Harapan government. How do you see ties developing even further during your current term? Thank you. Ties within Singapore and Malaysia has always been good. At least we are always on talking terms. And if we have problems, we air our problems, sometimes publicly, sometimes privately. What we have not done is that we have not confronted each other or even suggest that we should resolve our problem through uh, violent uh, action like going to war with, uh, with Singapore. This is uh, not a minor achievement. If you look throughout the world, most countries with problem with their neighbors try to solve their problem through violence and through wars, and in the end, both sides will lose. That is our relation with, with Singapore. It is a relation between, I think, two civilized people who do not believe in violence. I should add that uh, as two close neighbors, uh, we have worked very hard to develop and manage this relationship. Uh, we have become different over the years, especially after 1965. The societies have evolved in different directions. The political systems have developed differently. But if you look at it within ASEAN's context or within a global context, in fact, Singapore and Malaysia are very similar countries in terms of heritage, in terms of our um, rule of law, in terms of the connections we have with one another and the comfort we have with one another. We even argue who invented some of our foods first. <laughs> <laughs> so well, there, there is an enormous overlap. And therefore, there is a tremendous potential for us to move ahead in a cooperative and mutually beneficial way, provided we work at the relationship and understand wh where you get the best satay, whether it's uh, the Esplanade Gardens by the Bay, or whether you can get it satay majid or satay kajang or something like that. 